Hi everyone, this is Aisha Sheikh. Today I will be teaching you how to read sentences and words. While we read, I'm going to teach you how to blend, how to blend big word, how to identify digraphs, and that's the key. And you would come across many high frequency words as well. So we will both work on this together and read. Okay, we will need a bit more practice. So once you finish the video, you're going to watch this at least two, three times so that you understand and memorize all the digraphs and high frequency words that you learned. Okay, or that you read along with me. Okay, there we go. And this is Oxford Reading Tree. And the name of the book is Mom's New Hat. We've got a digraph here that's you, new, new, mom's new hat. Let's see what the story is about. Mom's new hat. Written by Roderick Hunt, illustrated by Alex Bridgeter. Okay, before I begin, I should thank Ines for sharing this book with me. Thank you, Ines. And here we go. We are going to read the book now. Mom, mm, uh, mm, mom, had had a new new hat. So this is a digraph U. Okay. So mom had a new hat. The the high frequency word. The wind, wind, bl, bl, you, blue. The wind, blue. It, bl, you, blue. Mm, uh, mm, mom's hat, hat off. It. Blue mom's hat off. Get, get my hat hat. A this is the A digraph. Said mm, uh, mm, mom. Can you see this? This is called the speech marks. When someone says a dialogue, that's when you use the speech marks. So, get my head is what the mom said. And that's why you put this in the speech marks. Okay. So, let's read. Get my head said mom. If you see all the sentences, you have a full stop at the end. That's how you do. That's the rule. Also, you need to begin the first letter of the sentence with the capital letters they have not used a small g here instead they have used a capital one so remember that okay the ad dad ran ran dad ran again a capital letter here and ended with a full stop the wind blue the wind blew. Oh no! Both are high frequency words. So you need to memorize them. Oh no! This is an exclamation mark. Why an exclamation mark? Because they are surprised. They are puzzled. It's in a strong emotion. And hence, whenever you have a strong emotion, you need to use an exclamation mark. Uh-uh. <laughs> Miss Aisha is recording with one hand and that's why this is happening. I'm sorry. Okay, now let's read this again. Get that hat, said dad. What did dad say? Get that hat. And that's why you see them in the speech marks. Look at the picture here. Keep her, keep her. Keeper ran. Can you see this digraph? Er. Keeper ran. Mm, keeper is the first one to run here. The wind blew. Oh no! 
what's happening here. Look at that. Get that hat said keeper. 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 Get that hat said keeper. So keeper said this dialogue and that's why you can see it being put in speech marks. But if Biff ran, Biff ran. The wind blew. Oh no! Look at that now. Where's the hat? Oh my God! The painter is painting the bench, and the hat is stuck. Uh oh, messed up. Look at this. Finally, mom got the hat. L -ook. This is the diagraph. Look. Look at my new, new hat. And since there's an exclamation mark, you read this this way. Look at my new hat. So it's a strong emotion. Mom's very upset. You can see her being upset. Said, mm, uh, mm. said, said, mm, uh, mm. mom, look at my new head, said mom. That's it. Okay, that's it for today. Inshallah, I'll see you in my next video. Until then, loads and loads of love. God bless you. Take care. Allah Hafiz. And stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.